What do you do if you have only three hours in Amsterdam? You can admire the old houses, get a boat around the canals, buy some tulips, visit the infamous red light district, or frequent a coffee shop. But what if you don't want to do any of these things? What can you do? Coming into Amsterdam by train, I passed the multicoloured fields of flowers I'd seen from the air and came into Amsterdam's busy central station. Out front were the tourist boats I remembered on the smaller canals and many trams passed in front of the station building. The front facade of the station hadn't changed from my first visit, but inside the station was a whole different beast. My three hours were shaped by an ex-colleague who told me that there were free ferries that went from the back of the station. So I headed out there to jump onto one of them and see where this took me. There were two free ferries heading directly across the water to Amsterdam Nord Boekslotterweg stop. So I got onto one of those. At the front of the ferry were cyclists, then pedestrians came behind. There were great sea views to left and right along the wharf and the ferry reached the other side in minutes. I'd noticed on the map there was a visual arts museum called Eye on this side of the wharf, and I headed to it. It's an amazing building and wouldn't look out of place in the modernity of Rotterdam. It has a great approach and the entry fee was quite reasonable. Inside there's a cafe with a stunning view over the wharf. There were two exhibitions, one permanent and one temporary. I went first into the temporary one and it was a combination of anthropology and filmmaking including an exhibition called Cosmic Realism. Very cool installations. I went for a drink in the bar and then headed downstairs to the permanent exhibition. This included a room full of screens, showing footage from the museum's archive. You could use control boxes to influence what type of clips were showing. For example, see footage that all included bicycles. A very cool museum, not too busy and an interesting use of my short time. look at the city on that side and then back across the wharf on the ferry. More boats then back into the free-for-all of bicycles heading in all directions. With so many cycles you really have to keep your wits about you to not walk into the path of one. A final look at the front of the station, the one building I remembered in Amsterdam, then onto the train out. Those few hours in Amsterdam have made me feel it was possible to avoid the over-tourism, cliches and worst aspects of the city and I may revisit. In the last part of this series, I'll go on to look at Rotterdam, a city unlike any other in the Netherlands. Cigarettes and tea.